What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. Today, we're going to have the Latum, which is the first Incarnon pistol. This thing is very strong, and has actually become very popular quickly. So, we're going to go over it, and show the parts I've chosen for my specific setup, which is actually really, really high DPS, and slightly AoE, which is kind of fun, too. And we'll just show other options you could potentially go for as well. And we've also got a Riven that I've rolled for this weapon, and we'll talk about Riven rolling for these Incarnon weapons, because they're actually a little bit different than you might think, uh, as far as, like, good stats to go for. Before we get into it, though, make sure you're subbed to the channel and all that. I appreciate all the support lately, guys. Make sure you check out the live stream channel as well. There will be Twitch drops live tonight, uh, and I think throughout the weekend or something like that, too. So if you want to get some not great drops, but they are drops nonetheless, look no further than my channel. All right, so the Latham or Latham or something like that. Let's go over all the options you can choose. This is an Incarnate weapon with multiple choices, and we've gone for like the basically the highest DPS one. So for the first choice, what you have available to you is you have three choices. One of them is minus... 40% recoil. Pretty good because this thing is high recoil. But we've actually gone with plus fire rate, which will give you the best DPS. Rapid Wrath. And the third option is increased movement speed while aiming. Not really improving your DPS or accuracy, to be honest. So, uh, next one after that is going to be Evolution 3. We've got Lethal per Rearmament, which is going to give you uh, increased reload speed on headshot. You've got Awakened Readiness, which is basically auto-reload while holstered. And the third one, Feather of Justice. Increased ammo efficiency while aim gliding and sliding. There's apparently a bug where that uh, ammo efficiency works on their weapons for now. I've gone with lethal re rearmament to just basically switch between Incarnon forms very fast because reload speed affects Incarnon form switch. Next choice, we've got headshot damage. Headshots build Incarnon faster or plus status chance minus crit chance. I'm going to go ahead and say that headshots build Incarnon quicker is basically the best here because you're not going to be using this thing in headshot mode for very long. For the final options of the big DPS increases, we've got the one we've gone with is overwhelming attrition. On hit, that's neither crit nor status. 400% increased damage, and it stacks up to three times. Uh, the other ones are Reaper's Plenty on headshot ammo efficiency for six seconds, and then Devouring Attrition, a 50% chance when it's a non-crit to give 2,000% Bane mod. So we've gone with Overwhelming Attrition. The reason we've gone for Overwhelming Attrition here is because, you know, it's not as much as the non the non-crit, um, you know, Bane mod option, but here's the nice thing. Once you get these stacks that are neither non-crit nor non-status, after that, you can use this damage increase you've gained on actual crits. That's why it can come out ahead compared to a non-crit build. You don't get access to the crit multiplier. This thing has okay crit multiplier. With our build, we got 4.4. Um, so that's going to be like 1,200, and then you can multiply that with some additional multipliers as well. So that's what we've gone for here. And as far as the other choices, fire rate the most DPS. Like I said, you could go minus recoil here, but we're going to be using some special mods and arcanes to make it so there's no recoil anyway. But yeah, increase DPS. Next one, increase reload speed on headshot. I do have a minus reload speed ribbon. That's why I've gone for this. And it's also just really nice for like instant reload. Incarnon form switches also are like dictated by your reload speed. Um, so really, really nice one there. Then we've got the next one here is headshots build 50% more Incarnon transmutation charge. You could go for more headshot damage, I guess, but I, I'm using this thing for the Incarnon form, not using it for the normal modes. This is, this is basically a crucial choice here to get to the, because the Incarnon form of this is a rocket launcher, basically. So let's just go ahead and show that on these guys. Not going to show the build yet. We'll be, we'll show the build right after this. Okay. So normally just like a Lex Prime, basically, you see the recoil is not like, I think we have a recoil reduction thing on here, but it's, it's not too crazy. Once you get some headshots, building up that Incarnon bar. And there you go. So that's like not even with any galvanized stacks. This thing hits really hard. It's a fully charged up Incarnon bar now. You got crazy fast reload. We switch. Now it's a rocket launcher, like basically mini Excel trying to kill these guys in like one bullet. That's the power of, you know, building up that stack and then being able to crit with all that damage afterwards. The minus status chance version... You know, like, I'm, I'm sure there's situations where you could see, like, big numbers, but it's not going to be, like, as consistently blasting these guys away like it is right now. So, and that's with no outside buffs. We got no Arcane Avenger. We got no, no uh, Panzer Cat giving them viral procs. And this is the no Riven build right here. Now, I had to form with this thing very specifically to fit my Riven on. So if you're going for this build, you might notice there's a mod slot missing. This, this slot right here, the uh, Exilus slot, put reduced recoil there because this thing has really high recoil that's something you could do it doesn't really need ammo mutation while you're in Carnon form you're not actually using ammo so that's also nice we've also got uh, secondary deadhead which will give us even more reduced recoil so between this and steady hands that's an entire like all the recoil is removed so that's what you could do if you 
for, for me, I basically have the same exact build. Like, this is the Corrosive Heat build. I basically have the same thing here with my Riven. My Riven has two elementals on it and minus reload. I have the same thing, but I was actually able to fit this on here. There's no heat on here, to be fair. Uh, but I just wanted to mess with Prime Fulmination because the... Uh, the uh, Excelltra mode has AOE. It goes from 2 meters to 3.32 meters. Not really a huge increase. But, uh, you know, it's still... It's fun. It, it gives you more AOE. It, that's definitely not the best DPS option in that slot. You could definitely go with, like, Lethal Torrent for better DPS. But it's also par partially just an AOE pistol, which is why I like it. So, let's show the Riven build. Now, this is... The Riven's... Rolling Riven's of this thing is actually a little bit tricky. Because what you want to do is you want to actually make it where you're not getting 100% crit chance. Like I showed, we're trying to make sure that we get some non-crits and also non-status uh, to get this damage multiplier. So you don't want 100% crit chance. Uh, I guess you technically would after you get the multiplier to go off, but um, that's uh, that's actually going <laughs> it, to... It's going to require some specific things. You don't want to run Arcan Avenger really on this thing until after you proc the... Um, until after you proc the evolution state. It, it, it's, it's a little bit of a, of a, a sticky situation. So as far as Rivens, um, I'd say plus Toxin's good, plus crit damage would also be good, and then maybe plus Fire Rate. Since you have infinite ammo in Incarnon form, um, you could go with Fire Rate to increase your DPS. There's no Blast Radius increasing uh, stat for Rivens, unfortunately. And funny enough, I think actually going for minus status could be a good option here. The weapon's got 22% status with this setup, and... I mean, we are not really using it to proc Viral. We're not really using it to proc Corrosive. And not to mention Corrosive procs ain't, ain't what they used to be. So, like, if we got minus status chance, that'd probably give us access to our multiplier even more consistently. So, I'm going to go ahead and say, like, after some theory crafting, I think that crit damage, toxin, fire rate, uh, minus status chance could potentially be the best roll. And it's funny because the other weapon kind of wants minus crit chance. But we'll talk about that one as well. The, the uh, Fenmore, we'll talk about that one in the future. So... I kind of got a pretty good one here where it's got plus cold and plus toxin. So it's basically built in viral from one mod slot. And it will let you, you know, stack some more. Like if you look at the build we have here, I have some more flexibility in what I can run. You know, like I said, Prime Vulpination is not the best choice, like DPS wise, but I want I want to use it for my personal play style. Um, additionally, we can put on some more fire rate here. Fire rate is pretty good in this weapon. We put lethal torrent here for fire rate and multi shot, but for even higher fire rate, you can go to anemic agility. Um, it's really flexible in, in that regard. So um, we also have the same build with Viral on here. This is actually Viral Heat with Lethal Torrent. So really, really good. We basically get Viral from this mod slot and then Heat from Prime Heated Charge. Lots and lots of uh, increased damage because big elemental damage. You, you could you, you were seeing the guys getting one shot, the Bombard's getting one shot by like one bullet with no Riven. So let's just show it with the Riven. It's not even going to be that different to be honest. And this is a Viral build versus the other one being a Corrosive build. Actually, can we make these guys Eximus? I feel like we should just make these guys Eximus. That would seem appropriate. There we go. Corrupted Bombard Eximus. Hopefully this is not a, a mistake. Alright, so they're all Eximus. They're all visually busy. And there you go. Incarnon form. And just chewing through Eximus. Near instantly. This is not with Fulmination, I believe. This is the uh, Viral build. And you gotta remember that uh, Overguard counts as health, so Viral is good against it. It's not like shield or anything. It's not over shield, it's over Overguard, I guess is what it's called. So that was the Viral build. Let's do the Corrosive build with Prime Fulmination because lol, we can. And let's give it a shot. This thing, if you are looking for like a DPS source, um, this thing is actually kind of competing with the Nell Prime. Now, it's, I don't think it does as much damage as the Nell Prime when you're going all for headshots. But, um, you know, pretty good. Now, see, the, the Corrosive build is definitely worse against that Overguard, because like we said, it is health, transform state, and, you know, with a Corrosive build, these guys are, I think they're resistant to Corrosive because they're Bombards. Still doing pretty good. That's that Prime Fulmination making it pretty, pretty big AoE for what it is. And, yeah, infinite ammo, infinite death. Looking good, looking good. I do highly, highly recommend this thing with these parts to you. Um... Like I said, if you are looking for a Steel Path weapon, this is a great option. Um, I actually would definitely pr I'd recommend this over the Nell Prime. Just because the Nell Prime is, you know, it, requ it requires uh, a headshot to keep the stack going. This requires, like, a couple headshots every, like, you know, like, every minute. And the Nell Prime is, is a lot more annoying to, up to upkeep that. Uh... Now, yeah, it will do more damage probably than Nell Prime would, but it's not going to be, it's not, able like, this right here where you're seeing me blowing away, like, 10 Grenier with, like, a couple bullets, that, that ain't happening with the Nell Prime unless you, like, gather them up. Maybe like with an electric or a gas build, relying on status procs. It, it's just not really meant for that. It's meant for single target DPS, idlon hunts, uh, you know, demolists, 
stuff like that. Uh, this is definitely more of a you know everyday mission type of gun where it's like, all right, I got a couple headshots on that guy. Let's just start blasting everything away because that that's what's gonna happen. Now here's the thing: Would you really are you gonna run this over the Kuva Nucor? You know what's crazy? Maybe you actually would. This can actually kill stuff. It's not really used as a CO proker. You would still use a new core of the Epitaph for a CO proker, uh, more than likely. And I, I don't really see this thing <laughs> ever taking that position because it's not really meant to be that type of weapon. But honestly, I would use this over the Kuva Nucor or the Epitaph for just, you know, if I wanted to just mess with a pistol, kill somebody with a pistol. I get a couple headshots with my Lex, it becomes an Exceltra. That's just fun. So, yeah, really, really fun stuff. And this is actually the easiest one to get, I believe. This uh, Incarnate Weapon, I think it believes, like, I re believe it requires, like, rank one or two. So it's really not hard to get. Uh, now, it's going to require some pinions to grab it from Cavalero, I think his name is. But, I mean, it's the new content. You should go kill some Void Angels to see how the fight is anyway. So, yeah, really highly recommend it. Uh, as far as weapon grades, I didn't do these. We can do this on the fly right now, though. Um... Yeah, really, really good. So let's let's actually do that while um, the, the gameplay footage is going on. So yeah, minus status, going to be decent here. Um, you know, you don't want too much crit chance because, like I said, you know, crit chance is going to make it where you're not getting that uh, non-crit, non-status uh, at all. So yeah, and the max stats potential of this thing is not great because we're not even modding for that, but it has built-in radiation on the Incarnon form as well. So it technically could do really, really well there as well. So um, overall grade, let's actually increase that max stats potential a little bit. Let's make that like B. I'd say above average, since it has that built-in radiation. You're not even trying to mod it for uh, status chance. And um, yeah, it just it's good at mob clearing. It's good at acolyte kills. It's it, If you want to build it for status for some reason, it can do that, which I wouldn't really recommend, but you could do that. An overall score, A. An excellent weapon. One that you definitely should have in your arsenal if you can stomach playing. The Scavenger Hunt, which I, you don't even need to find Void, uh, Void Plume Crest to get this. So I guess this is actually like one of the highlights of the update, hilariously. Um, the Ribbon Dispo will probably never get buffed. So if you have like a crappy negative, like let's say you have negative... Let, let's just even go for a battle. Let's say you have negative multi-shot on a Ribbon for this thing. I don't see the Ribbon Dispo for this thing ever getting buffed. So even with a really, really terrible negative like that, you could probably get away with it until like... Maybe someday they buff the dispo, which I highly doubt, uh, because that's like what going to be like nine, minus twenty percent multi shot. You have two hundred and thirty with galvanized fully stacked up. Yeah, it, it's probably going to be fine, even though it's like the worst negative in the game. Uh, and I think about galvanized shot with this weapon, the condition overload for guns. You could technically use that if you're like using it for single target DPS, but remember the AOE aspect of this weapon does not work with galvanized shot. So I decided not to go for it. I'm using more of an AOE pistol, and as you can see on the steel path, it's still killing guys really fast and with, with no gun condition overload. So yeah, go out and get it, um, or just you know play another game because this game's going downhill. But you know if you're, if you're having fun, you're having fun. I'm having fun too. So. I'll see you guys in the next video. I appreciate all the support. And yeah, also later tonight on Twitch as well for those Twitch drops and potentially some other games uh, on this channel as well. All right, guys, take it easy. Peace.